Hi and welcome once again to Channel Fish. If someone puts a map in front of you for the very first time, it can be intimidating because you will see symbols and lines and colors. And if you look at the map on your screen, you'll see these symbols, lines and colors. And if you see this for the first time, you might not know what they represent. And today I'm going to explain to you how to read a map. But before we do that, I think it's important that we discuss the three main categories of maps. The first category is called the political map. And on your screen you'll see a political map of Asia. The purpose of a political map is to show you countries uh, or states, provinces, counties, uh, the borders of, of those places as well as cities. So all the countries as you can see are different colors. The next map is called a physical map. A physical map shows us physical features such as rivers. You can see on this map lakes, rivers, mountains. That's called a physical map. And the last category, category of maps is the thematic map. A thematic map shows us distribution, patterns, things like climate, population density and so on. I'm not going to go into too much detail when it comes to the three main categories of maps because we are going to look at basic map reading. When you see the map for the first time, you want to know which area is represented by the map. The next thing we need to know is where is north on the map. Now for every standard map that exists, north will be at the top of the map. As you can see, this is a standard map. North is at the top, south is at the bottom. There are, however, exceptions, and when north is not at the top, there will be a sign, like the one you see on your screen, indicating where north is. So now that we know where north is, it's important to identify the map scale. What is a map scale? A map scale is something that tells you how many times a piece of land was shrunk so that it can be used as a map. On your screen, you'll see examples of map scales, the one at the top is the ratio scale, the one below it is a line scale and the one below the line scale is a verbal scale and the one right at the bottom, it's very similar to the ratio scale, is a fraction scale. So like I said, I'm not going into any detail, I've posted videos on different types of scales so feel free to click the links in the description below to see those videos. Next thing we need to know is, and this is very important, this part of the video is about actual map reading. Now, the map key or the map legend is like your dictionary. Because on your map you'll see symbols and lines as I've said before and you might not know what these represent. So, if you look at the key or the legend you'll see exactly what these lines and symbols mean. So, on the screen there's a map and we have lines and colors and symbols. So let's zoom in on the map key or the legend and there they give you the meaning of each of these lines colors symbols and shapes so one of the, th the first things I noticed when I look at the map um, are these lines and so what do they mean if we go to the key we'll see it's where tectonic plate boundaries are then I see these red triangles. What do these red triangles mean? In the key it tells you exactly what they mean. They are volcanoes. And so we can carry on. You also see the different colors. And so th the different colors tell you the height of the land. The next thing you will notice on a map are these grid lines. Now these grid lines are there to just help us uh, identify exactly where certain places are located. So if we say a certain place is exactly uh, on the equator then we know more or less where to go and look for that place. I've also posted videos on coordinates, lines of latitude and longitude where I explain how to plot places and find the location of certain places by looking at these lines of latitude and longitude. The next thing that you might be asked when you use maps is to identify direction. I've also posted a video on, on the different directions of, of the compass but it looks more or less like this 
and uh, important especially when you travel you want to know in which direction you are traveling thanks for watching if you have any questions feel free to ask your question in the comment section below also go and look at the description of this video because there you'll find many links to a variety of, of geography map work videos that would really be helpful so feel free to subscribe see you next time goodbye